Good evening. Good evening, everyone. Good evening. Excellencies, Head of State, ladies and gentlemen. Tonight, I have not come here to talk to you about Nelson Mandela. You all know he's the first black president in South Africa, and he has impacted the whole world. I have not come to talk to you about Martin Luther King. From 1955 to 1965, he has impacted the US and the world by fighting against discrimination. And they have a day for him. I have not come to talk to you about uh, George Washington. They have a president day. But today, I have come to shine a spotlight on two people who have impacted the community, the country, and the world. Dr. Hong Tai Zi and his wife, Madam Yu Min Ching. Thank you. They have traveled to more than 100 countries in five continents, shelter the homeless, feed the hunger, and care for the sick. Dr. Hong and his wife have spent, if you didn't know, millions of dollars to help people, promoting love and peace and conscience. As a global peace ambassador who has traveled to many countries in the world and met with many world leaders at the UN and many countries where there's war, in 2019, when I met with Dr. Hong and Fopal and allowed me to win the Bell of Peace, receive the mini bell, the, uh, the golden uh, medal, Dr. Hong teach me there's a difference between being smart, intelligent, and wise. Dr. Hong Taizi taught me in Washington, D.C. When you are a smart man, you'll be able to do so many things. When you become intelligent, you are able to stop a war. But when you become a wise man, you'll be able to prevent a war from happening. So that are the two different between being intelligent and being wise. You can stop a war, but when you become wise, like Dr. Hong, you will prevent a war from coming. Trillions of dollars are spent on chemical weapons and war while the vital issues are silenced. But Dr. Hong and his wife have spent the whole life empowering people. They reached to a stage when Dr. Hong told his wife, Madam Hu, why don't you stay home, taking care of your family, of your kids? She said, Dr. Hong, wherever you go, I will go. Whatever you will endure in your life, I will also, because I'm your wife. I'm supposed to have your back. That's why after coordinating the fifth Global Jog Free World Conference at United Nations, when I received a call from football staff say ambassador son and we need you in new york we need you in california we need you because we commemorate the fifth international uh day of conscience i was so sick my high blood sugar was over 500 my tension was over 170. i say i must be in new york because these men taught me so many things i become more powerful I become, even though I'm young, a wise man. That's why within two weeks, I was able to call some friends, congressmen, senators, and if you look in the back, we have more than 15 to 20 citation, proclamation, and award. Dr. Hong does not need any more award. As you can see, he spent thousands of millions of dollars giving awards so it can empower you and I, so in turn we can continue to empower other. That's why I call my friend Dr. Ben Fialkov and some other 
leaders at the UN and the national and international, I say we must do something to show Dr. Hong what he's done for the past 30 to 40 years has not lost. So we were able to come to a resolution where 25 organizations at the UN, national and international, we agree that April 5th is uh, from now on the International Day of Madame Dr. Hong Yu Xing Cheng. Please put your hand together. So after today, tomorrow will be the International Day of Madame Ho, Madame Dr. Hong, because she has empowered the whole world. So today, tonight, as Ambassador, Head of State, Prime Minister gathering together, let us all stand and give a standing ovation to Dr. Hong and his wife. As we come with the resolution, somebody come with the resolution. As you can see, the top of the organization who have signed and agreed that April 5th is considered as Madame Pu Legacy Day. So this is amazing. And I invite my friend, Ambassador Tito, who is a former president, come on stage, stand next to us, as Dr. Ben Fialkov will come and read the last paragraph of the resolution from uh, congressmen, senators, mayors, uh, and uh, national, global, and organization who have agreed uh, to declare April 4th as Madame Who Legacy Day. Dr. Ben, please put your hand together. Resolution. Therefore, in common accord, we, the Global Peace Ambassador, Dr. Hugh Shannon, Dr. Bernard Fialkoff, the President of the Foundation for Drug Free World, America's Chapter, Maria Lozada Fialkoff, President of the Foundation for Time for Truth, Senator George Borrello, Congressman Andy Goodwill, Mayor Kashina Cross, Kojep International, Ali Gedekoglu, Foundation for Drug Free World, ICAD, Chautauqua County Journal, War Cabaret, Global Organization of Sustainable Development, the Royal Kingdom of Ambassadors, the Society in Action, Yayi Studios, the Dominican Union of Sports in New York, the Foundation of Bodegueros and Small Businesses in New York, the Facundo Architecture Advisory, the Committee of Alcohol and Drug Prevention, Canal America, Inner City Handball Association. We all proclaim the 4th of April as Madame May Young Yu Legacy Day. This United Nations Day, New York, April 4th, 2024. Thank you for the presentations and a round of applause also to all of you. Thank you. Please have a seat, please. Thank you. Thank you so much. Your presence means the world to us. Thank you for sharing your love with all of us. Thank you, Ambassador Shannon. Thank you, Dr. Fiokov. Thank you, Ambassador Sito.